great. And, uh, of course, that's George Kittle who said that first. I'll ask you, I was looking for you as Dallas gets the ball back here. What's going through your mind? Man, we're just excited that we won. Uh, everyone did their part. It's playoff football. It's never easy, but we're moving on. Hey, we're calling that the George Kittle drive there in the third that sparked it with that circus catch that you had, that 30-yard catch. How'd you catch that? With your hell at your hand? Oh, how'd you do it? You know, I saw Huff did it a couple weeks ago against the Rams. I was like, you know what? How can I make this as dramatic as possible? Just shout out to Brock. I actually wasn't even in the progression, and he still found me, so that's all that matters. So I just appreciate him giving me a shot catching the ball. Tell me what your reaction was when you saw him make the catch. Man, I thought he was going to one-hand grab it, and then he started bobbling it. I was like, come on, man. And yeah, it was a tip drill, but he came out with it, and we're glad that we got George on our team. Yeah, and he finds every camera, by the way. I mean, we have four of us. He won't talk about it. Himself, but I'm going to make about him. Great. We're going to say. I would like you to talk about Brock Purdy getting you into the NFC Championship game. Wow. Brock Purdy getting us the NFC Championship game? I mean, he's only won, I think, like seven in a row now. Good job, Brock. Playing at a high level, getting our best players to football. He's awesome and confident in the huddle. He's just doing a great job. And the best part is he shows up every single day. He's humble and all he wants to do is get better. And he's going to be great for us next week and uh, just continue on after that. What does it mean to you to show up in Philly next week and have a chance at the NFC Championship? Man, yeah, that's what NFL football is all about, to go in a hostile environment like that. Like, we're excited. We're ready for it. Appreciate you both. Thank you, Aaron. You going to go have fun now? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think he's always having fun, that way. Yeah, you know, we, we talk about in the pregame, what do you like to go to? Like, the running backs like go to tight end. Kittle and him have a, a really great connection. And, and Kittle's a guy that, you know, Gronk said is probably the most complete tight end in football when you consider blocking and receiving. He's a selfless guy, and, and tonight it really paid off. He he, he kind of closed the deal for them. Those one-yard runs late in the game started turning into three, four, five-yard runs, and that's when they kind of the physicality of the Niners wore them down, and that defense from Dallas just didn't get any help. You take a look at the San Francisco team.